episode of Dragon Ball Super. Everyone's favorite badass assassin from Universe 6, Hit, finally makes his grand return. And he has an epic rematch with Goku, which is not so much a rematch as it is a straight up massacre. Because in this week's episode of DBS, Goku dies. This episode would be more shocking if it wasn't for the fact that Goku has died a couple of times. Not to mention, I think this whole deal with Hit coming to Earth to kill Goku is essentially an elaborate plan by Whis in order to train Goku. And what better way to push the ultimate Saiyan warrior than to put him up against the ultimate assassin? My favorite thing about the episode was just all of the time that we got to spend with Hit. I honestly wish the entire episode could have revolved around him hanging around this weird alien city as he goes about his his day killing mob bosses and just frankly looking like a badass. I especially love that we got to see some brand new techniques from him in this episode. The fact that he can basically punch you from far away and hit you directly in the heart is just frightening, terrifying even. In fact, that's the signature technique that he uses against Goku at the very end of this week's episode. In fact, the episode actually opens up with Goku just straight up being killed by Hit. You don't know why it's happening, it's just there to be shock value. But like I said, we've seen Goku die a number of times, and there are Super Dragon Balls, Whis can turn back time, so everything's going to be just fine. And you know he's going to be fine, because just look at the preview for next week's episode, he's going to continue to fight against Hit again. Vegeta is still training with Beerus and Whis, and Vegeta, of course, just feels like crap because Goku is getting all of this special treatment. According to Beerus, he's the number one fighter for the big tournament that's going to be coming up, and you just gotta feel bad for Vegeta when he hears all of this stuff. Always being told that essentially, look, you're great, but as long as Goku's around, you're always going to be number two. Most of this episode, though, is watching Goku as he's constantly concentrating and trying to figure out where Hit is. He has kind of a lock on him, and he knows that his life is in danger, and it's really cool getting to see Goku like constantly on edge throughout the entire episode, especially because we get to see sides of Goku that we've never seen, especially when he's eating dinner. Might be the most calm Goku eating food scene that I've ever seen. The rest of the episode follows Goku as he goes through menial tasks like grocery shopping for Chi Chi and still trying to figure out where Hit is, and Gohan and Goten are desperately trying to figure out what's going on with Goku. And Gohan comes up with this stupid plan where like if they don't want to get spotted by Goku they're going to wear costumes. Why did he decide that to dress up just like the Great Saiyaman? Like, Goku knows exactly who the Great Saiyaman is. I don't know, it's, it's a flawed plan, but it leads to a lot of funny scenes with Goku just sort of like aimlessly walking around society, Bulma hitting him with a car, him just for some odd reason walking into the middle of a movie theater and ruining it for everyone because he has this giant fish on his shoulder. It's really, really funny, and by the end of the episode, we get to see that Hit is going to return to Earth, but the best thing about this episode for me personally is getting to see Hit operate in his universe. We go to this weird, mysterious alien planet. The alien planet is actually a moon which is covered with all of these giant domes, which are essentially space colonies built on the moon. And inside of them are these big, futuristic, neon-infused alien cities, which are really awesome. I really like this setting a lot, especially all of the scenes with Hit where he's hanging out in what I'm guessing is some sort of alien graveyard while it's raining. It's just... Badass, to say the least. You just can't help but think that Hit is a really cool character. And you actually get to see him infiltrating this massive tower in the middle of the city, dodging all of these guards who are wearing gas masks and have guns, and he's going to kill this mob boss, who, at first when I saw the previews for the episode, I thought maybe this weird random alien guy was the one who's going to be putting a hit out on Goku. No, Hit is putting a hit out on this guy, and he actually just takes him out by punching him, not even touching him. Basically, you get to see this huge imprint of his punch go into his chest, which I'm presuming just crushes this guy's heart immediately. What is strange, though, is that Hit decides to take the necklace of this guy, and I'm guessing, presumably, he returns to his gravestone to put it there, or that was something that his employer made him do. I'm not really sure what the significance is behind this, but he moves on to his next job, which is, of course, Goku. So he goes to Earth, him and Goku have this epic confrontation with each other, Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue, they conveniently are in the perfect fighting spot location, you know what I'm talking about, the weird, cavernous, freaking Arizona, Nevada looking place, and then Hit just takes out Goku, one shot, 
No problem whatso freaking ever. He doesn't even have to stop time. He just punches him once in the chest and Goku is seemingly dead. So what's the rundown on this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super? This episode was actually really cool. One of my favorite things about it was just a lot of the imagery. All of the scenes with Hit on that alien planet just looked so moody and atmospheric and perfect. It really took me to a location that I didn't expect to see in the Dragon Ball universe, and it makes me wish that we could go to more alien planets. I also like the little detail when Hit is walking around the city, there's this massive TV which is airing, and they let you know that Frost is still a fugitive on the run. This is something that I welcome. Frost is one of my favorite villains from the entire series, and I still feel that he never had an opportunity to show off how incredibly destructive he actually can be. Not not to mention, he's just such a devious, underhanded bastard. I just want to see the return of another Frieza-like character, so that would be great. But the other imagery that I loved from this episode was probably just the way it opened up with Goku hanging out at his house and going through this extreme concentration as he's trying to figure out where Hit is going to try and attack him. And as far as like animation and artwork goes, this is a pretty solid-looking episode with a lot of clean artwork. I can't say the same for the next episode. While I am excited for the next one, because it looks like Beerus is going to get involved and might even fight against Hit, which is to say he's probably going to take him out in one shot, the artwork just doesn't look all that great. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe the animation is going to be nice and fluid. We're going to have to wait and see, but there were a lot of scenes from the preview that just kind of turned me off in a bad way. Frankly, I'm just kind of interested to see what this arc is going to do. Uh, if it's basically just an excuse to push Goku a little farther and do a little bit of training for him as they prepare for this big tournament, because as we all know from the press releases, that the brand new arc is going to be starting in February, and my god am I excited for that one. It's probably going to be the craziest tournament that we have ever seen from the entire Dragon Ball series. So I'm anxiously waiting for that one. That being said, this is definitely better material than some of the stuff that I've seen from the last couple of episodes, which have been basically just straight up comedy. At least this one feels like there's going to be some sort of impact on the series. And it was fun just to see a lot of classic characters again, like Gohan, Goten, and even Piccolo. But Hit is the one who totally stole the show in this week's episode. His unique setting, the fact that his ability to kill people with just a single punch to the heart is just so freaking awesome. I love the look of the alien planet, and I can't believe that Goku was killed again. How's he gonna get out of this jam? Is Whis gonna turn back time? Are they going to make a Dragon Ball wish? We're just going to have to wait and see. But I cannot wait to see how that's going to happen, but I am going to give this week's episode right here a 4 out of 5. I really enjoyed this one mostly for the imagery, especially all of the scenes that involved Hit. I really wish the entire episode would be just about him, but I really want to hear from you guys. How do you think that Goku is going to survive after being killed by Hit? Is he suddenly just going to spring back to life? Was he really not killed? Is this all an elaborate plan by Whis, or is there actually someone out there who legitimately hired Hit to kill Goku? And what do you want to see from the next episode and beyond? Please tell me in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching this review. I very much appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and if you liked this video, give it a like and leave me a comment or two. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, stay dandy, baby!